Hey, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> so, right now we are going to work on this acrylic setup that I built. It's a 8x8x24. Uh, eight by eight by I use quarter inch acrylic. Um, it's definitely watertight on the bottom. Put two inch screens, three of them, so that the acrylic will stay clear. We got water, air circulation, and uh, I can't find my scissors. But um, pretty much, I got the stuff that I use to do a bioactive setup. Um, I have the setup. I have some plants. We got some uh, coleus, some wandering Jew. I got a bunch of that. I got a money tree. <laughs> some curly spider plants and I have my carbon and my puppy sleeping behind us so um, very simple setup the way I do it um, I don't go I don't go too fancy I keep it simple because it works out the best and I can't find my scissors Scissors, scissors, scissors. All right, so we're back. Got the scissors. So first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna do drainage, right? <coughs> so I will line this up, and I'll do a snip. So, I get this really extra, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I get this really extra fine screen that I like because it just makes it harder for, it just keeps it separated. It's pretty much guaranteed separation. Um, so that your, uh, your soil, your substrate doesn't go in. You'll see, it's, it's very simple how we do it. You can, uh, I'm on a budget. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's a book. I'm on a budget, so I try to do everything in the most uh, functional way and price efficient. So, I'm gonna cut my I'm gonna cut my screen and I trace the top because that's gonna be for my drainage bottle right so you can buy drainage and do all types of fancy stuff or you can do drainage like this which is what I do simple cheap easy red oak charcoal I get it I put it in a bucket and I break holes into it I, I break it with a hammer so that will be my drainage you can use stone, you can use all types of stuff, pea pebbles, whatever you want. But, charcoal is super duper light, so why not? And, if you guys have uh, springtails or anything like that, you know that springtails breed extremely well on charcoal. So what I'll do is, I'll put the charcoal in. I do about an inch high. I'm going with the smaller stuff so that it really fills it in nice. So drainage, you just want drainage because you don't you want the water to be able to drip through and not saturate your soil. Because then it gets that's where it gets a little funky. So there's my drainage. Now, next is a key thing that I do. All right, next. I get some water and some other stuff. So the key thing what I like about doing the charcoal on the bottom, <clears throat> now this charcoal was all washed, dried out, sat in the sun, is, 
I'll get my springtail colony and I'll shake it around, <clears throat> get all the babies loose. And then I'll put some springtails in here. And I'll add a piece of charcoal to this. So now the, the reason by doing that, now my springtails have a, uh, I have, I'll have a nice established springtails. I'll see them actually growing in there as this thing progresses. So we know springtails like water. So I will go over here and I'm actually going to soak it. I'm going to soak all of that. So pretty much now the springtails have somewhere to live. And they'll be able to get through these little crevices. So now I'll add my screen. I always put you close to the front because I like I like to make sure that I see the layer. And now, for more insurance, I'll add some more charcoal over here, preferably on the corners. All right. Now I have my mix. So this mix of dirt is peat moss, clay sand. Sphagnum moss, organic, and um, eco earth. And it's a little bit of a blend. I follow the I follow the formula that um, Sarah Design does. He's the one that really uh, got me motivated with these with these setups. Uh, he made me realize that you don't need to buy all that fancy stuff and you're fine with going to a couple local stores and doing it. You don't have to spend a thousand dollars. You know, it's kind of crazy if you do everything that, you know, if you buy everything retail, regular, it's going to cost you hundreds of dollars, especially with the amount of uh, bioactives that I do. So I like a nice deep soil because I love my plants. So now these plants, they've been soaking. Um, I soak them in water, I grow them out, I put them in peat moss, I let them stay in there for about a month to make sure that there's no type of fertilizers or anything on it. And, uh, and then I put them in. Once again, I'm gonna add a little more charcoal to the top. This charcoal is good and not forget, but I got my oak leaves. Got my bark. All right, can't forget my bark. So. So let's see, so let's see how we're gonna do this. I probably got, I got about an inch and a half of, uh, of the, um, the drainage, and then I got probably about almost three inches of the dirt. Now what I like to do with the dirt is I like to go high in the back. So I'll go a little high in the back. And now, Got this beautiful plant. I think I will put this inside it. Try to get in there. Because what I like to do, I like it all grown side here. This is going to be a setup for smaller reptiles. So what I'll do is I'll get it set up. That's going to go into the dirt. That's going to go 
go right there, and now be able to grow out. And it'll be small enough for little geckos to get through. I'll wedge this in here. And I'll add another one in the back. So that's going to be what it's going to look like. In the front, everything's tight. Pieces, I'll end up putting it after. Here's another nice piece of Wandering Jew. Slide that through there. And once I see I can reach the dirt, I'll put that back there. And I'll put her in the dirt too. So now she's in the dirt. So I know that she'll be fine. Coleus is such a cool plant. I love it. And I have about 20 species. So, next I'll put in will be Coleus. I'll take my baby out over here. You alright? Who did that? Children, they're a pain in the butt. They're really good when they're asleep. Alright, so I got my coleus over there, and I think I'm gonna put my money tree right there. I love clutter. I do. I love clutter. I'll put the I'll make it so much clutter that the reptiles really have a lot of hiding. Plus, there will be dieback. So, it's fine. Break some leaves off. Alright. More dirt. Now, I'll fill in my floors with these little curly spider plants. I have a mother plant that has so many of them. Remember those? Oh, another piece of wandering Jew. This stuff will grow on anything. So throw it in. So now, those pieces of cork that I did, I'm going to put them over here, break them up, throw them down here. So I have some nice places for my, uh, my bugs to go. I'm going to grab some leaves. Break up some leaves, throw that in there. I actually messed up. Normally I put leaves in the soil. But it'll be fine. That soil has a bunch of sphagnum moss, so that'll be perfect for it. Alright. Now it is time to grab some rodent potatoes. So I'm going with this one. I'm going to go with the powder orange. Powder orange isopods. Uh Alright. So the video cut out while I was doing the isopods. But they are in there, as you can see. Well, not me can't see, but right there is a little eyes butt. Um, and I'm happy with that. That looks good. The ventilation, I'm pretty confident in, because this one I sprayed twice today, and as you can see, everything looks good. So I'm going to let this probably run for about a month 
unless I lose my patience in a couple weeks and uh, put an animal in. I did modify my door latch because I was getting a gap and it's not good for morning geckos because they will get out. So I went with just riveting on a little tab over there and um, it's as easy as just A little tight and one hand is not easy to do open close and while I was at I said you know what let me do it on this one because my luck someone will escape out of this one so there it is looking good my morning geckos got a bunch over here and this 15 and this one's doing really good. Um, they're finally comfortable in there. They're laying eggs. They actually took two months off after I uh, moved them into this thing. So it's actually nice to see that everybody is developing eggs again. And I already have five eggs. So let the games begin. Because eventually I'm going to get the mornings out of this one. Because I probably have... I probably have 25 babies in this thing. There are so many morning geckos. It's a jungle. You can never even see them. But I can see ones right there. You can see one on the wall right there. So, it's doing good. Well, any questions, just ask. So, this is my second gecko bioactive that I built from scratch and I gotta say I really like the 8x8 the 6x6 is pretty cool you know that'll be good for a morning gecko or two but the 8x8 you can actually put a quite a few you can put a few morning geckos in there and feel confident in it um, you know my guys are in a 15 my girls and they're really happy in there so I do like these setups and I plan on making more. Maybe the next one I'll do a 10 by 10 and keep going. Just do all tanks 24 and see how it goes. All right, well, thanks for watching. Please follow, subscribe. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, DMJ Reptiles is Chino, and I will catch you later. Peace.